All right, hey everybody. So, tax reform is a done deal. Well, almost, but it will be a done deal after the House re-votes on it. Uh, yesterday, that vote was nullified because of a technical um, issue. So the Senate passed it early this morning, so it is real, folks. And uh, like any major piece of legislation or uh, major fiscal policy change, you need to know what the impact is going to be. Because like I said in a video yesterday, our job as investors and traders is really just to sit around and wait until the you know people who have their fingers on the levers and the buttons uh, decide what they are going to do all right as much as you might want to talk about a free market and all that kind of stuff and capitalism uh, there is an overarching political system where policy has a very important impact on the markets i mean you know, that's why we all sit around every month waiting for what the Fed is going to do or what the central banks are going to do with regard to interest rates. And, you know, frankly, um, even uh, more important is this kind of major fiscal policy shift. So you need to know the impact of that. And, you know, if you understand MMT, you would understand the impact of that. And if even if um, you're a novice with MMT, my the people who follow me and my subscribers uh, of MMT Trader, uh, I inform them of what the impact is going to be. And this, this could be monumental. I mean, we are not just because of the size of it uh, necessarily, but there are elements within this tax reform that could be very, very profound in their effects on the market and also certain sectors of the market. For example, the banking system. I talked about this this morning in an email that I sent out to subscribers, all right? Uh, as far as the issue of co uh, corporate profit repatriation, I've spoken about this a number of times on videos. And I do feel that the perception is as flawed as the perception surrounding quantitative easing and all those quacks and fools who thought it would result in hyperinflation and the same quacks and fools who thought that higher interest rates were going to be bullish for the dollar. I believe that the whole repatriation discussion is mired in this kind of uh, flawed understanding of what is really going to happen. And I've been talking about that a lot in my emails to subscribers and also in the, in the report. All right, so you need to know this. This is a massive, massive shift. This is a tectonic shift. You know, for those of you just looking at charts and a very simplistic approach, you are really missing out on big opportunities here because something like this doesn't come along very often. And it is the equivalent of throwing a giant boulder in a, in a still pool of water. Picture a still pond, very calm. It's been that way for a while. And all of a sudden, here comes this giant boulder being tossed in and the disruption to that pond and the way those waves will radiate out in which direction, what, you know, how it's going to lap up on the shoreline and all that sort of stuff. You need to know that. It's very, very important. Uh, and if you want to understand that, if you want to get some more insight on that, of course, um, sign up for a 30-day free trial to my report, MMT Trader. Now, just go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, and you can do that. And don't forget, I have to make this announcement, that the report will be going up. The subscription price, as of January 1st, 2018, will go up to $145 a month. It is currently 125. I had people sign up when I first started uh, putting it out at 75, so they got a real bargain. By the way, all current subscribers, you will not be, you will not see an increase in your rate. Your rate is whatever it is you signed up for, okay? But the rate will be going up to 145 a month as of January 1st, 2018. Same thing with zombie trading, my forex signal service. We front run the zombies and get out before they die, all right? 
Now, I did my weekly uh, breakdown and analysis of the EIA's weekly petroleum status report. Again, the zombies, all of you zombies out there, you look at one thing, maybe some of you who think you're a little bit smarter than the other zombies, you might look at two things. You'll look at crude inventories, you'll look at gasoline inventories or distillate, whatever. That's not what it's about, folks. I've said this a million times. There is so much information in these reports, and you have to be able to synthesize that information and come up with a concise outlook um, of what is going to happen in the oil markets. I mean, there you got you got that inventory information in there. That's supply. You have um, production in there you have demand in those reports you have imports in those reports you have export all that stuff factors in it's not simply about what the, the the inventories are if that if it was that simple we'd all be very very rich very quickly all right if it was just a matter of sitting around and trading off the inventory come on I mean, that is so naive it is ridiculous so again if you want that email I just sent it out Go to pitbulleconomics.com and sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. And if you sign up for zombie trading, I will also send you that because it does affect certain currencies, notably the Canadian dollar, where um, we made money on zombie report, zombie trading today, based on that report. Okay, uh, we we jumped in front of it. I knew what it was going to be. We jumped in front of it and we made money on that. Uh, for those Forex traders who have zombie trading, you know what I'm talking about. As far as Forex is concerned, I remain and I am probably one of the only people, if not the only person out there, who is saying that the dollar is going down. And I have laid out my reasons for that. Number one is policy, both monetary and fiscal policy, are bearish for the dollar. Higher rates are not bullish for the currency. I've been all through this. MMT uh, explains that very clearly. And also, in a much broader uh, geopolitical sense, I've been talking about this, the uh, increasing use of the dollar as a weapon by uh, the United States government uh, has, and by, by the way, I, I, I feel very strongly that that is what is behind the, the Bitcoin craze. It's not about Bitcoin per se, although that, that now is the vehicle, but it ref Bitcoin and the craze reflects the world's desire to move out of the dollar into something safer because this this constant uh, um, imposition of sanctions, the attempts to block entire nations out of the global dollar-based transaction and clearing system, it's an enormous risk. And, and Bitcoin is like a barometer or a temperature gauge measuring the desire on the part of uh, people and, and firms and countries to de-dollarize. And this is only going to continue. This trend will only continue. If you listen to Trump's foreign policy speech the other day, I, I found it to be incredibly belligerent. U.S. empire will continue. We will, we will approach everything in a militaristic fashion. If you, not, if you are not with us, you are against us, uh, meaning Russia and China. So very, very antagonistic. I do not see any, I did not see anything in there which would suggest a rolling back of this kind of uh, U.S. belligerence uh, and, and desire to dominate. So these sanctions will be continued, uh, will continue to be used and applied more aggressively every single time. People have no choice. The world has no choice. They're starting to understand that. All right, everybody, that is the update for now. Um, we're making money. Hopefully you want to make some money. Go to pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. See you guys later. Bye-bye.